Cassian. Welcome back to week seven of our craft videos. And I am, I just want to say, I really appreciate um, how much effort you guys are um, taking to do some of these crafts and sending us the um, little pictures or videos. It really makes us very happy to see that. And I am glad you guys are enjoying it. Um, so this week, um, I know we had talked about making a flower and we are actually going to do that this time. So this is what we're going to make, a flower bouquet um, today. Um, let's see. This is what it's going to look like and it's pretty easy. Um, all you need is um, a toilet paper roll or a kitchen tissue um, roll. You will need scissors, you will need some construction paper, or um, you can just color a white sheet of paper with um, paint. Um, and then um, for flowers, I will send you a template, or you can make your own. Just uh, make a flower and color it, mm, colorful uh, flowers, and then you will have that. Um, and tape, we will need glue stick, and that's all the things you would need for this project. So let's get started. First thing you will need is a toilet paper roll. And then uh, if you're using construction paper, um, you will need a green color um, to show the green part of it. Uh, and then, or you can actually color um, the whole thing green. That would work too. So it's up to you what you want to use. Um, I didn't have time to paint, so I will be using construction paper. So first thing, get the construction paper. Um, uh, before we start, I um, kind of did like a two layer. If you can see, there's the darker part and there's the lighter part. Um, but I will show you the easier way to do it. But either way, it's still fun and pretty. So let's get started. So first thing, I'm going to hold it, make a line of symmetry, half, and then cut half of it. Once you cut, put that one away. We'll take our, our toilet paper roll and kind of line it up. And we're going to cover that part. So I'm going to use tape so it will hold it in place, just right in the middle. And then roll it all the way, all the way, all the way. Again, you can either glue it or tape it. I'm just going to use tape for this part. So just tape, and then the other side. And that will take care of that part. So nice and steady, let's put that aside. So the next part, um, I'm going to show you the easy part. So if you want to do the two layers, you can get um, the lighter shade and then have use this part for the lighter and then bottom part for the darker. But you don't have to do that. You can just do one layer and be done. So this part, I'm going to use the lighter shade of green. Fold it into half. Now this is the easy part. Fold it into half, and then take your scissors, and then cut about two, in I mean half an inch, that should do it. So cut, cut, cut all the way, half an inch. Now don't go all the way up, you just stop about three-fourths away. So do that all through that. Again, don't go all the way. It won't work if you go all the way. Three fourths or even half would work too. It's up to you. Just 
this is the longer part. Once you have that, you will be ready to go for the next part. If you're painting, make sure you um, set it to dry for a little while. Otherwise, it's all going to be messy and we don't want it messy, correct? So, it'll be fun to paint too. Hmm. And one more. All right. Now, see? All right. So we're now ready for the second part. Now we're gonna take this back for the second part. Line it. Okay, now line the straight, but the part, part we did not cut to the edge of the other one. And then, same thing, I'm just gonna use tape. You can use glue. But remember, if you're using glue, you have to hold it, maybe count it to 20, and then you'll be ready to go. So I just put some tape right there. And then same thing, I'm going to roll it all the way until it comes to the end. And then get some more tape. Now, this time when I tape it, I'm going to tape it around that way it will be nice and steady all right so as you can see now we got some branches all right so we can kind of spread it down so kind of looks all nice and pretty Now we are ready to do our last part, which is adding the flowers. So you would already, if you, if you made your own, you cut it and make sure it's ready to go. If not, if you're using the template, make sure you color it and then you cut it and then you are ready for the last part. Let's add the flowers. All right, so pick which one you want. I'm going to start with this one. Put some glue. And then get your flower and stick. That's all I gotta have to do. All right, let's go and make sure. Do this one. Pick my blue flower this time. All right, glue. And then let's do this one. I'm going to get my yellow flower. Ready and go with the purple this time. Purple and I have orange left. Let's do this one over here with orange. And there's orange. And voila, you have your bouquet of flowers ready nice and easy i hope you guys like that i can't wait to see what how come how yours turn out all right guys i'll be back with another one soon thank you for watching guys